Flat Earth Clues, Part 11, Souls in the System. This is part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the Flat Earth system we live in and who has been involved in the deception to hide it from you. This clue looks into the recent past, or more specifically, an odd but interesting piece of conspiracy lore. What I hope to show here is an example of how an enclosed system, once revealed, can change the world very quickly and in ways you may not have realized. To start, we need to go back a little ways to a controversial 2004 documentary called Astronauts Gone Wild. For those of you who missed this strange little gem, the summary is this. The producer-director Bart Winfield Sibrel went out to prove that all the moon landings were elaborate hoaxes. To do this, he set up interviews with the Apollo astronauts, giving them the impression that the interview was just routine. He then produced a Bible and asked each of the astronauts to swear on the book before the interview started. The interview was then supposed to be a series of detailed technical questions designed to trip up the astronauts. During the process, there was quite a bit of tension and some very uncomfortable moments, including one actual fist fight. Now, I'm not recommending that anyone actually go out and watch this hour-long documentary. For me, the astronauts have had to live with this guilt a long time, and leaving them alone seems like the humane thing to do. What interested me, and moreover what piqued my interest then, wasn't the unoriginal questions the reporter posed, but how the astronauts reacted to the Bible itself. None of the Apollo pilots would put their hand on it and swear that they went to the moon. In fact, most treated the book like it was made of plutonium. This puzzled me for years, because it went against the basic rules of any cover-up, one of which is lie about everything. Now, the pilots of the Apollo program had done many interviews over the years, many televised, and had been going through their song and dance without really any instances of contention. So why not just go through the motions again? It is, after all, just a book, right? People lie under oath all the time. It's called perjury, and every country has an extensive system of laws and punishments to deal with it. These punishments don't seem to stop the people from committing perjury, and you can read about it almost every day. Furthermore, the astronauts were not in court. This was just a room, sometimes their own home. So swearing on the book f would, for all intents and purposes, be meaningless. And this sat in the back of my head for years, because it didn't make sense. Why would astronauts, trained by a very large military science program, be afraid of just putting their hand on the book and just tell one more lie? Well, for them, it may have been more than just a book. It may have been a symbol of something much bigger. You see, for you, me, and almost everyone else, a holy book is a symbol of faith, because the creator or creators have yet to be revealed. But if you knew that the creators were real, then the book becomes something much more tangible, more relevant, more sobering. Or, more to the point, the Apollo astronauts would have been let in on the enclosed system during their tenure with NASA, and over the decades, this system created certain truths for these men, one of which is, someone could be watching. Now, whether the builders slash creators are actually watching every little thing we do can be debated, but if you have proof that they are real, then the thought of your every move being scrutinized is a very real possibility. This is what you and I may suspect, but don't feel. The Apollo pilots, however, are a different story. If they were shown how the world really looked, then their attitude towards the book takes on a whole new meaning. In fact, it didn't have to even be a Bible. 
It could have been an encyclopedia or a piece of wood because it was the idea that made them pause. And if you're still not getting it, then I'll ask you directly. If you actually saw some of the creator's handiwork and knew that there was a chance you were being watched and there was a scorecard involved, would you swear against that and lie about something? Would you roll those dice and take the chance? Or to put it another way, everyone has gotten frustrated about something, then looked up and cursed the sky. Would you still do that if you knew that a creator was up there and possibly listening? That's just one example of how knowledge of the enclosed system changes people. The astronauts didn't want to roll the dice and lie because there was a real fear of retribution. And while they were confident that a bolt of lightning wasn't going to strike them down, they also weren't going to push their luck. And we all take on the same approach in daily life. Everyone who drives has run a stoplight. We know when we see the yellow light that it's too far away, so we hit the gas and hope for the best especially if the traffic is light and we aren't putting anyone in danger. But you take that very same intersection and put a red light camera on it, well, then things change, don't they? Do you hit the gas and roll the dice? Not a chance. You hit the brakes and hope that you can stop in time because you are being watched. You may not be a model driver by any sense of the word, but you understand this rule and this place, and you don't break it. And this one aspect is why I'm pushing so hard to see the enclosed system revealed. Because as a civilization, we seem to be only as good as what we can get away with. This isn't an issue with freedom, it's an issue with doing the right thing. You know that running red lights is a bad idea. The camera is a reminder of that. Imagine all the things that would change for the better if the enclosed system was revealed. Would you lie to hurt someone? Would you rob a bank, commit fraud, or embezzle? Would you steal anything unless your life depended on it? And while people would still get angry and fight, would they maim each other? Would they kill? Would anyone knowingly commit murder? Would you bully or extort people for profit? In fact, knowing that the world was created, would you do anything malicious towards anyone? If the world is not a globe, but instead enclosed, then wars end. Hate crimes end. Maybe not overnight, but quickly because you may be, for the first time in your life, actually accountable for your actions. You realize now that you are a very real soul in this enclosed system, and you have a responsibility towards your fellow man, one that can be boiled down into one simple rule. Treat others better than you treat yourself. This, this, is why it's so important to show the world as it really is. This is why I am asking the authority itself to open the door and let this secret come through. You've kept this hidden for too long, and the people who live here with you have been through enough. This isn't about money or power anymore. It's about our very souls the essence of who we are. Wealth and titles don't define your heart. Hiding the entire world may have seemed like a good idea at the time, but we have gone way beyond that. Have you actually seen our home recently? This needs to be fixed, and it needs to be now. The people won't forget the deception, but they will forgive you for it, because a truth like this will make them more noble, something we should have been since the beginning. So do your own research and always, always ask questions. 
because that's the only way you will find all forms of the truth. Feel free to email me at msargent23 at comcast.net or 303-494-6631.